Hi, and welcome to My Don't Matter Strength Condition. My name is Oscar. Thank you guys for joining me. This is our part three on our series of plantar fasciitis. Uh, if you have questions on what plantar fasciitis is or other ways of treating plantar fasciitis, please check the other videos. Um, this is just one of the treatments. Uh, one is using a golf ball. So this video will teach you how to uh, correct plantar fasciitis and alleviate it, alleviate the pain. All you're going to need is a golf ball. It's that simple. Um, now on these ones, you want to perform them every day and just apply light pressure if this is your first time and you're used to them. You can apply a little more pressure by adding by uh, standing up, but I would recommend uh, start sitting down. Start by placing the golf ball on the ground. Your plantar fascia goes from your heel bone to the metatarsal bones or the middle of your bones. Most people experience severe pain in the middle of the arch, so you're going to concentrate on this area for the first minute by applying light pressure on the ball and going up and down the arch slowly. You can apply more pressure by performing this standing, but I would recommend sitting first. Once you have found a spot that feels more tender than the others, you're going to start by going side to side. You're going to experience a mild to moderate discomfort. You're going to perform an active stretch technique which will help break down the tissue that is caused from restrictions. Do this technique by contracting your toes and then extending them on every tender spot in your foot. It is a little more of a moderate discomfort, so please listen to your body. This technique will help break down the connected tissue known as your plantar fascia. What most people don't know is that the fascia actually causes restrictions of certain muscles and movements. So by breaking down the tissue, you will ameliorate the pain in the arch because you're allowing more movement to happen. Think about it as a car accident on the freeway. Plantar fasciitis is a car accident that blocks most, if not all, the lanes. And the golf ball is the tow truck that helps clear the way to allow more movement of the cars, or in this case, muscles and other structures. If you don't feel like this is right for you at this time, then continue by lightly rolling on the ball up and down or side to side. If the golf ball is putting too much pressure, then you can alleviate it by using a sock or a towel over the golf ball. If you are experiencing severe plantar fasciitis, then the next video will help address this issue by giving you a treatment with a frozen water bottle. After about one minute, switch to the other foot, and you can certainly spend more time, but if this is your first time, this will feel uncomfortable, so breaking it down to minutes will, break, will make it more bearable. This treatment does not take much time. I usually perform this treatment for about three to five minutes when I'm sitting down at breakfast. Switch the golf ball to your other foot. Now you can perform this treatment at home, the office, or almost anywhere where you're in a seated position. The area around your arch contains many tendons and ligaments that overlap which is why this area is really tight and sensitive. Another way to think about this structure is unorganized electrical cables bundled into one area with no direction. What the golf ball does is it helps you by separating those cables by applying light to moderate pressure. Now there's a lot of devices out there that are marketed specifically for the treatment of plantar fasciitis but all you really need is a golf ball and a few minutes a day. Once again, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys learned something new. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.